Hey, do you have an old MacBook or maybe a MacBook Pro or actually any computer from Apple that you want to sell? Maybe you bought a new one and you want to return it. Well, before you do any of that, make sure you clean all your personal data off and you set this thing back to the factory settings like it was one and a half minutes after you bought it. And that video is going to start right now. Hey everybody, let's go ahead and get started with this. The first thing you're going to want to do is make sure that you back up your data. You can either back up your data using Time Machine or you can use a drive like an SD drive or you can use some sort of cloud service. But make sure that you back up your data because nothing is going to be left when we are done. The next thing we need to do is we need to deauthorize this computer. And the way that you can do that is either through the books app, the music app, or the TV app. I prefer to use the music app because it's something I'm familiar with. So go ahead and open up whichever one you want to use. Okay, the next thing you're going to do is go up to the top left hand corner and click on account. Then go down to authorizations right there in the middle. And from authorizations, that's where we can deauthorize this computer. Click on that and you should see your Apple ID and password come up. Once you fill that out, go ahead and hit deauthorize. You'll need to enter in your password and this computer will no longer be authorized with Apple. Okay, next on the list is signing out of messages. So if you're using messages to send texts, we need to sign out of that. Go ahead and open your applications folder and go to messages. I'm going to blur mine out because there's a lot of information on here that doesn't need to be on the internet. But what we're going to do is we're going to go up to the top here, click on messages, click on preferences, and then we're going to click on iMessage. See over here on the right hand side where it says sign out? Click on that and go ahead and click on sign out. Now we're going to close this window and you should be signed out of your messages. You're doing great. We only have a few more steps to go. So hold on and stick with me. Hey, quick introduction. My name is Sean Seymour and I do videos about photography and technology. Sometimes it's frustrating stuff. Sometimes it's really cool stuff, but if it's new for you, please feel free to join me for more of this kind of content by hitting that subscribe button down in the bottom right hand corner over here. Now let's jump back into cleaning up this computer so that you can send it away. Next step is going to be logging out of Find My. So go up to the Apple logo, go to System Preferences, go ahead and click on Apple ID. And then be sure on the left hand side of this window that you've clicked on iCloud. Once you've clicked on iCloud, go ahead and scroll down to where you see Find My. We're going to uncheck that. You're going to enter in your password and you're going to continue. Now Find Mine is trying to authenticate the user. This is going to be the password for your computer, not your Apple ID password. And as soon as you hit OK, you'll see that Find My Mac is no longer checked. If you're selling your computer to a total stranger or you're returning it back to the store where you bought it, you can go ahead and skip this step. But if you're giving it to somebody in your household, you probably want to clear the Bluetooth connections. Go ahead and head up to the top right hand corner and click on Bluetooth, then click on Bluetooth preferences. Now you'll see all the devices that are connected via Bluetooth. Go to the right hand side of this and click on the X. Each time that the remove comes up, go ahead and click on remove, close the window and you're done. Now that you've signed out of all of the services on your computer, the next thing we need to do is actually erase the data that is on your computer disk or on your hard drive. So go ahead and click on your Apple logo, go down to restart and click restart. When you do that, we're going to click it one more time, restart. For those of you with an older MacBook Pro or MacBook or Mac Air with the Intel chip in it, you're going to need to press Command R. For those of you with the newer Macs with the M1, M2 or whatever the future M chips are called, if you have a newer Mac, you're going to use the Touch ID power button. So press and hold that Touch ID power button until you see the Apple logo come up. And you'll notice underneath the Apple logo, it says continue holding for startup options. Go ahead and continue holding and now you'll see that it's loading startup options. Go ahead and click on options and then click continue. The next screen will show you some startup options. 
we're going to go down to disk utility and then we're going to go over and highlight the Macintosh HD. Once you highlight the Macintosh HD, we'll go over to Erase on the right-hand side and then Erase Volume Group. You'll see that you have several format options. Go ahead and choose APFS, which it should already be highlighted, but if it isn't, go ahead and choose that. Click Erase. Go ahead and click Erase Mac, and go ahead and click Erase Mac and Restart. So what your computer is doing now is it is erasing all the data on that hard drive, and it's going to restart with a fresh, out-of-the-box operating system. You can stop everything that you're doing and close down your computer when you see it come up with this language selection. That's the same screen that you got when you very first opened your box with your new computer in it. So you can go ahead and stop now because all of your data has been erased and the computer is set back to its factory settings ready for you to give it away or return it. Please hit that like button and that subscribe button because it helps my channel grow. And until I see you on the next video, my friend, keep it simple. Wow, Mac look in the face. Well, I hope you found this video helpful. If you did, you know what to do. Hit that like button down below, hit subscribe, and no. Hey, well, I hope you found this video helpful if you've got an old MacBook or a MacBook Pro or apps, apps, if you got an old MacBook. <laughs> Darn it. <laughs> Maybe if I turn this around, that'd look cooler, huh? And there we go. And there we go. No, there. 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 Perfect. <sighs> Do you like my sticker on my MacBook Pro? Actually, actually, any Apple device. Not any Apple device, just the computers. Who knew it, huh? Ooh. Do my nails look like they're done? Cause they haven't been done. I don't even know how to do nails and I've never been to an appointment for nails. Let's just start here, shall we?